this is the Wi-Fi diagnostic tree application. Um, it is from the chapter three um, programming challenge number 17. Um, and this app, it's not asking for any user input. It is basically using if statements. So I'll play it for you first so you can see. Um, so in a message dialog box, um, it basically just tells the user that, hey, you should reboot the computer and try to connect. They'll press OK, and it will ask them uh, a question if it fixed the problem, um, where the user would say either yes or no. Um, and I'll say no uh, going through it for the first time. Um, so then it tells them to reroute the router instead of the computer and try to connect. And then it'll ask them again, did that fix the problem? They'll say no. Um, then it will give them some other tips that they can use. Um, the first of which to make sure the cables between the router and modem are plugged in firmly. Um, it'll ask them again. Then it'll say, move the router to a new location. Um, and then it'll ask them again. Um, and if that doesn't fix it, it will tell them to get a new router, goodbye, and that will um, close out the application successfully. Um, now, if they, let's say they wanted to say, yes, that did fix the problem, um, it will tell them, great, have a nice day. Okay, so to show you the code here, um, I have a separate class called Wi-Fi Check. Um, and again, using the uh, J option pane, um, javax.swing.joption pane that we see here as an import. Um, and all of this is basically just if statements. Um, so using one method, I believe, yeah, I'm only using one method called fix my Wi Fi, I called it. Um, and basically, we use the show message dialog uh, command here. Um, and then it takes in uh, a response from the user. Uh, will they will say yes or no? Um, and this is where you don't have to use a character. Um, you could use a character. I'll show that in um, a future video that I'm going to do later today. But um, to make it simplistic, um, you can simply just use an int for the reply or the option they say. Um, the yes option is always zero. The no option is always a number one. And cancel, I believe, is a two. Um, but I can do a little bit more research on that, though. Um, and if they say yes, so this first line here, if they say yes, then it will say, great, have a nice day. OK? Um, and then it will exit. You have to call the system.exit. Uh, statement here in order to um, successfully close a J option pane um, application because it doesn't close on its own. Uh, it will, it would just delay. Um, and then uh, we get into the else statements and basically that's rebooting the router um, and then it goes again into the uh, did that fix your problem? If yes, then it'll do that. Um, an easier way how I could have also done it was possibly via a loop, um, but we didn't quite get to that in the book just yet, so I just kept it simple as the chapter had it. Um, but that is an option just to make the code a little bit more simplistic, but that's pretty much it. Just if statements, um, information messages with the show message dialog commands, and that's all. Uh, so I'll play it for you again so you can see. Um, and then here I just called over that class as well as the method uh, so that it could play. All right, so here we go. Um, reboot the computer and try to connect. Um, no, that didn't fix the problem. Reboot the router and try to connect. Did that fix the problem? No. Uh, make sure the cables between the router and modem are, pu are plugged in firmly. Um, and I'll just say, yes, did that fix the problem? And it'll say, great, have a nice day. And that's all. Build is successful. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.